Alright guys, welcome to UEFA Champions League 2006-2007 official video game. So today, we're going to be starting the treble guys on this game. I have done a few videos in the past uh, on this game. I think I did the PSP and we looked at the 360 version. This is the PS2 version with the treble mode guys. So that is what we're going to be doing. So yes, let's get straight into it. And uh, yeah, so let's start a new manager mode. Now, first off, guys, I think this is just like the 2004-2005 game. So you've got to pick your difficulty. And I believe whichever one you pick, that's it. You can't go back, pretty much. Like, that, you, you pick your difficulty, you can't change it. I don't believe there's any way to change it whatsoever. So yeah, kind of was thinking about world class, but... If you've seen my 2004-2005 series, guys, you know how frustrated I could very much be at this one, considering how the last game went. So, yeah, I have played the game on World Class, and I have actually won a game on it, and it did feel sort of easy enough. The goalkeepers do tend to make a lot of good saves, though, even when you're right in front of goal. But for the sake of my health, guys... I'm going with professional because I know what could potentially happen here. So we got the prologue, we got the introduction to the treble. Um, so the UEFA Champions League finals mark the end of European football season, and it is time when clubs are left to ponder what might have been and dream of glory in the upcoming season. So that is actually uh, pretty cool that they've actually like recreated the uh, 2006 final there so that's uh, within the game itself so that's uh, kind of a thing there that I thought I'd show you guys. Um, but yeah obviously I couldn't, uh, uh, it was the Champions League music playing so I had to cut that out and put some other music over it because obviously copyright etc. But here we go, select your team, so we got FA Premier League, we got the French League, we got the German League, the Italian League and the Spanish League guys and you've got to pick one of those so it's just kind of like 2004-2005 all over again. So uh, yeah. Um, there are other leagues in the game, though. They are other leagues, but for uh, in this uh, mode, you have to pick a, a team um, in one of those five leagues. So, yeah, um, you guys have been voting, and the team that you want me to go with is going to be in the German League. And it's going to be... Well, to be honest, it was between Bayern, Leverkusen, and um, Dortmund, one of these three. So, so we're going to go with Dortmund. In this one guys so i don't think i've ever been dortmund and we've i've never been in the german league before on the channel have i or anything like that so there uh, so so yeah um so create manager alexander born right here what a ledge check him out he's a ledge um so yeah you got to pick your head guys you've got it you've got it you've got to pick some head to start off with so you can pick whatever one uh you want that guy uh, he's a bit actually he's a bit old um, so yeah, they're, they're all old anyway. This one, do you think, he kind of look? he kind of reminds me of Nico Bellic from friggin' GTA 4, this guy. He looks pretty, he looks pretty swag, man. Especially with that jumper on or whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I am gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with Free, just because he's got like a head of hair, I guess. <laughs> and that's probably, probably about as close, close as I can get to me. So you can pick your clothing style as well. So we got business, we're here, we mean business or casual. Um... I don't know, I might go with casual this time, because I think I went with business in the last one, but you can change the clothing colour, actually, so we could change the um, style if we uh, if we so wish to. Um, what we got in casual, though? Oh, so it just changes the collar colour? Really? Is that it? 
Okay, well, I guess we'll go with uh, th that one. That one looks kind of, it will look kind of smart. Uh, I'm going to put my name in. I'm going to put my uh, first name in, followed by Retro. And where's the T? There we go. And we're pretty much, oops, we're pretty much done with our manager here, I guess. So that's looking pretty good. Let's continue on with that. Uh, expectations are sky high this season and the chairman of your club expects you to win the treble. You must win the league title, the cup and the UEFA Champions League. <laughs> no pressure then, much. But anyway, the summer chapter one. Here we go again, guys, with the chapters and whatnot. Pre-season begins, we've got a friendly on the 9th of July 2006. Ironically, that day is the World Cup final. That's when the World Cup final took place in 2006. So, like, we've got a friendly, but we've also got, like, freaking France playing Italy in the final going on that same day, but whatever. So this is the uh, menu, guys. So I guess we might as well get this out uh, with the way to start off with. So obviously, starting 11, I don't need to explain that. It, it's your team. In fact, who we got on this team? Let's have a look at some of these ledges. We've got Metzelda. we got Tinga. we got a bit of Cringe. Pinar. Uh, who else we got in there? A bit of Amadik. What a ledge. What a ledge. Pez 6 ledge. Uh, Niri Sahin. What a ledge. Uh, Smolarek. Um, anybody else? Uh, Jensen. I think this Jensen guy right here, you get given him by default. Because I've done a, a couple of tests, um, well, a couple of tests to see, you know, how this game goes from the start of it in the treble mode. And basically, I believe no matter what team you pick, I think you get given that guy. So, yeah, um, we've got treble options here. So we've got tactics, we've got player stats team summary, game settings, and there's actually unlockables in this game, so we'll probably do them towards, uh, well, after the end. Um, you've got your mission history, so yeah, you obviously, it's like 2004, 2005 all over again, you've got your missions and whatnot, um, and, your, and your calendar sort of thing there. Um, and history book, which I believe is, yeah, so there's objectives that you can complete within the game. As you can see here, I've done like I think one. No, I've done. I've done six on match objectives. One on Scottish, right there. Um, if you beat like different teams and whatnot, if you like, I think what, you have to beat like every team in the game or something like that. To, is is one is like most of them, I think. And then there's all different other stuff. So, yeah. And I think that's. Uh, oh, I don't want to quit out. I think that's pretty much it. I think there's nothing else that I really need to show you there. It's pretty self-explanatory. So let's go straight into it, guys. But unlike. 2004-2005, we don't actually have to qualify. You know when you start 2004-2005, you have to... It's like the back end of the 03 or 04 season, and then going into 04 or 05, you have like this one game to qualify for the Champions League with your team, and you have to win that game um, to do it. If not, then you got to replay it again. But in this one, you just start in summer on July 9th. So yeah. This is the uh, the first uh, objective then. So yeah, the treble blog posted by Footy Scribe. Who the hell's Footy Scribe? Who? Are, yeah, I'm gonna have to Google that. But objectives, you got to play a uh, JJ. I think it's Jonas Jensen, <laughs> Jun or Jonas Jensen, or whatever you want to call him. Play 75 minutes or more. A new football season up is upon us, and I will be reporting all the latest club news and insights here in my blog. The chairman has already indicated his aim for the club this season and wants nothing less than the treble. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Like, even if you pick, like, I don't know, Sheffield United or somebody, <laughs> the chairman wants nothing less than the treble still, man. It's crazy. Today, the the team is in Scotland um, to play a pre-season friendly against Motherwell. You always get Motherwell at the start of the uh, season, no matter who you play. Um... Oh, who you who you pick? Uh, you can't pick Motherwell because you can't start in the Scottish League, obviously. But um, yeah, uh, we are missing many of our key players who are nursing minor injuries after recent international committees. The manager um, has the chance to test the squad's depth as the club looks to strengthen through the transfer market. The chairman is apparently keen to see the teenage reserve striker Jensen to get a good run today. So yeah, basically we need to play him for 75 minutes. So, ooh, uh, that's a bit too bright. We'll go with our away kit then, since we are technically aware. And, yeah, so here we go then. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go with my preferred 4-3-3 uh, for this one to start off with. And I think I'm probably just going to use that all the way through, to be honest. Where is it? 
Um, because I do like that formation, guys, as you well know. Where is it? Oh, there we go. I think I went past it, but, um... Yeah, Amadik, he's, he's gonna be in there, he's a ledge. Uh, Sahin on the right. Yeah... Uh, 76. You know, it's just a pre-season game, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, Pinar. Nelson. Okay, because I think... I'll tell you what, we'll put you there. We'll take... We'll take Pinar out for this one and put Jensen straight in there, because he has to play this one. And... I think that's probably all we'll do. Oh wait, I've changed the formation again. So I keep I need to get used to that. So obviously there's man marking, you can select your kit takers, as you would expect. Um I think that's good. I think I'm happy with that. I was gonna not I was gonna put Pinar in there for this guy, but this guy's sixty nine, it's just like a, the first match of the season. Um so it's not too important. So I am going to do that and we'll go to our first game. And just like 2004, 2005, it tells you what is happening. So obviously it tells you the date, whose possession it is, the score, what time. If it's, you know, like a free kick to you or them or a penalty or whatever. If anybody, I think if anybody's been sent off or, or booked or whatever, it tells you about that. But um, yeah, it's... Um, it's, it's quite an improvement and this game feels the gameplay I've been testing it out and it does feel a lot, a lot smoother um, uh, of it, well it will feel a lot smoother since this one came out uh, quite a few years after this came out in March 2007 um, so yeah it feels it feels a little bit smoother than normal FIFA 07 as well so um, it's pretty good we got a bit of Jing Wang as the referee what a ledge legendary name guys so, yeah, let's uh, see Such how we get on in this first game, game guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to playing this. This was a game that I didn't want to play uh, just yet on the channel, but decided um, it's it's going to it's gonna happen. It's going to happen, guys. So, uh, yeah. So, I think we've got... I thought they were going to score immediately there. Another thing is that uh, when the ball goes out of play, you can press L1 for a qu quick... Um, goal kick there that should have been a goal to be honest that quick uh, goal kick um, I think it works the same with free kicks and corners and stuff like that so yeah you can actually do like a, a quick uh, kick which is a is, is a thing guys it's a thing that sort of happens <laughs> but uh, yeah so yeah his sign is Deegan so here we go again guys, we're, you know, we're, we're getting the ledges. This game, okay, it didn't really happen there, but this game kind of suffers that same thing with, um, uh, I found in, in FIFA 07, when you're trying to cross the ball into the box and it doesn't quite go where you want it to go, like it, it, it doesn't go directly in. You know, if you're pressing up or whatever, if you're holding up, it just won't go directly up, it just goes to the side for some reason, and I still don't understand why it does that. Um... I mean, sometimes you get your crosses right and whatnot, but it's a little bit tricky. So I, I don't know. It just even after all this time of playing FIFA 07, I still can't like get that right. But oh, that is a nice ball out wide. Can we get something going here? But um, yeah, you, you know, I, I've never actually played through this game. This is actually my first time playing through this game, guys. So I don't even know what's going to come up in this, um, and I don't want any spoilers or anything like that. So you know, because I, I, I want to, I want to see, but I, I'm, I'm going with my professional difficulty, so I can pre prepare for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's a, a ball into the box. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a cross, but it just it wasn't it wasn't really where I wanted it to be. But um, yeah. The, uh, the it, it really is a lot. Uh, that is offside by a mile. Oh, what? That wasn't offside. I thought that was. Um, yeah, just just generally smoother. Whereas, like when you play FIFA 07, in my opinion, kind of feels like oh, kind of feels like oh, but it kind of feels like I don't know. It feels like we're playing, you know, more on that grid kind of thing that I've talked about before. You know what I mean? Where it feels like there's only so many ways you can score. I need to make the, um, you know what? I need to make the, um, what's it called? Transparent uh, game settings. It should be in there. Um, because the frigging um, radar is getting on my nerves. So I'm going to put that as transparent. 
because I, I did change it earlier and I saved over it so yeah um, let's whip it into the box here guys come on we gotta get a good start yes we do get a, a goal out of that one a re bit we're starting with a re guys how about that uh, whoa what is going on there it's like game is dropping frames there or something what the hell was that that was very weird don't know about that. These games are like around this era. <laughs> 3 for 07, this game. How many glitches will we find? Smacks it. It comes off his arm and, and in. Uh, we'll take that. Whoa, it's... Whoa! Unless there's something wrong with my PlayStation or something. That is dropping frames because it's definitely not... Um, the recording software, I can tell you that much. Definitely not. So I'd never get that in any other game I play. Although, I, 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 the thing is, I, I kind of prefer not to play on the, um, the, uh, on the, on the PS2, to be honest. I kind of tr try to play all my games on Xbox. Good defending, want the ball back there. Um, as much as possible, because I, I kind of don't trust the PS2. You know, when it d starts not loading games and stuff correctly. But, oh uh, yeah, that's going to be booted up. I think these are set to four-minute games as well, I think. Or is it four-minute halves, I think, something Just like that. Well. So, which is probably Just about go. right. And we're running through, we're running through. There's smaller wreck, what a ledge. And are we going to be able to sweaty that? Oh, I was, oh I'm going to get a sweaty soon. I'm going to get one. I'm the king of sweaties. I do it in like every series, guys. I have to do it. It's it's just my preferred method of <laughs> of playing football, to be honest. You know what I mean, why, why, you know, not take an easy chance to score if possible? Here's Sahin. Loving this uh, Dortmund away shirt though that season. Very nice. And this has gone through to Jensen. Oh, I think you can do the um the, the finesse shot if you hold the uh, R2. I think that's by default. Oh, how did I not bury that? That is surprising. Unbelievable, that. I, I got to say that I do love the fact that you can do these free um, kicks and whatnot, like, really quickly. Yeah, like, you can just press that L1 button and it just goes straight to the kick. It's just, ah, uh, it's just, bring that shit back, man, you know? <laughs> oh, off target there. I guess, I, I guess, suppose you can skip things nowadays, but there tends to be, like, in the newer FIFA games and stuff like that, it tends to be a lot more cutscenes cut and stuff um, in matches. It kind of slows the, the game down a little bit, but... Oh well, here's Jensen. Smolarek. Smolarek, I think he was in FIFA Street, wasn't he? Oh, what is this? Seriously, are we really gonna... Oh, we aren't gonna FIFA 07 this all the way through, are we? Just, you know, like, if you've seen my FIFA 07 stuff, guys, you'll know that I, I'm like a... Look at that, what is going on there? <laughs> you know I'm a bit of a whore for um, cutting in down the wing. But, yeah. I suppose we will get harder tasks in the future, though. That's probably for certain. But there's half-time. We'll uh, continue on with the second half in a minute. And then we'll see what happens afterwards. So we're off yet again. Um, I don't know if to make any subs, to be honest. I'm not too sure about it. Just expecting a pretty straightforward, easy win here, though. Forward. Hopefully, <laughs> it should be. Here's Jensen. Look, see what I'm cutting in again. It's it's total bullshit FIFA 07, man. I get all over again. Ah, oh, just when I thought I got away from that. <laughs> I guess not. Here's Deegan. Or some Valdez. Oh, 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 you, you, why didn't you shoot? Well, this could be a nice little counter here. Oh, oh, it's too far for Jensen, that. Damn. Oh, crossed over. Get it. Oh, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut to some of the highlights of that and maybe a uh, uh, left in this match. Oh, that is a pen. Is that a pen? What? He is total FIFA 07 ing me again. Kruska. Cross. 
Oh, you can have it back, he says. <laughs> you can have that one back. But, um, yeah, we're approaching the end of this one now. Not really a lot uh, uh, that's happened between uh, the last highlight and now. So, uh, yeah, I've decided to make a couple of subs, bring Pinar on, but it's not really going to matter now. Just, uh, yeah, but... Um, yeah, quite so far enjoying the, like the gameplay of this game, guys. I'm like starting to get into it and whatnot. And um, you know, yes. let me know if you guys have like played this one before, because I, I know there's a few of you that probably have. I think that's just outside the box that one. Um, so yeah, subs on. Let's do that. Uh, but I know, I know how how frustrated I got at 2004, 2005, guys. And I I really don't. I'm not in the mood for going through that again, to be honest. Let's. Let's see what happens with that. Ooh, on target, but there you go. Um, so I'm, guess, I'm guessing this free kick system is pretty much the same as, as FIFA 07 was as well. But uh, yeah, that's going to be a throwing, guys. But yeah, I think because obviously we are going to get, um, you know, like transfers and whatnot coming up. And um, obviously I want something that maybe suits this formation, this 4-3-3. Three, three. But a uh, good 2-0 win there. Uh, not too bad. Uh, to start off with, and I uh, can't wait for this one to really get going. So, uh, yeah, match summary, you, you get all the, uh, like, stats for the players and whatnot, all the play ratings and whatnot, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty uh, good. Jensen got a 90 there, um, he got a goal. Uh, Smolarek got a goal, but he only got 80, so Jensen was actually a man of the match. So that's pretty good. Preseason victory for inexperienced Dortmund. Inexperienced, really? Dortmund owner demands treble this season. Yeah, we already were pretty much aware of that. But uh, yeah, you got your bonuses yet again, uh, just like in a four or five. So obviously you got the bonus breakdown. So Jensen played the the seventy five minutes is what they wanted. Um, so obviously we got uh, nine points for that. Um, uh, win match, we got some points for that. Goals scored, so I'm assuming we get 60 points for each goal. Uh, shots, we get a, a clean sheet bonus. Uh, corners, you even get points for corners. I guess it shows that you're making chances and whatnot. Though. Um, nothing for yellow cards. I think those go to minus, though, if you like concede and do fouls and whatnot. So, summer transfer window on to July 20th, 2006 today. And, uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much it, guys. In the next one, in the next episode, we... Well, Galatasaray beating Manchester United in a pre-season friendly there, 2-1. Uh, is the transfer market. So, sell attacker and buy player. So, yeah, we got to say goodbye to somebody immediately and uh, add another... Uh, player to our team so fans should be reasonably be reasonably pleased with the friendly against Motherwell despite the number of senior players missing from the start of the starting 11 now I'm looking forward to our last preseason match when we travel to South Korea with a full squad to take on Galatasaray oh nice we're playing Galatasaray soon guys <laughs> uh, with the uh, summer transfer window open and we uh yet to make any big signings but i think we can expect to see uh, the club sell a player first in order to generate extra funding for the uh, transfer budget so if we advance on that i'm just going to show you what happened so basically we got like four we'll just call it four million for example now we have to sell one of our attackers guys we have to sell one of these players here and you as you can see you've got the skill rating and then you've got the value so yeah you got like 2.8 uh, for say jensen and um a ma we'll call him a match, just to make it easy. Um, but yeah, I think a Moa and above we probably want to keep. But the thing is, the if, for example, we sold Fre Frey here, I'm just going to call him Frey, um, then that would obviously bring our budget to 11, and then maybe we could bring somebody in better to re replace that. For example, I'm not saying I'm going to get rid of him, because his skill is 81, so we probably want to keep hold of him. But if we got rid of, say, Nelson here, 6.7, that would bring it to 10.7, and that's quite a lot of money to bring in a, a, a new good player there. Um, but, like, for example, if we did get rid of, say, I don't know, Saka here, he's 59, we're not going to miss him, but that would only bring us to 6.5, and who are we really going to get for 6.5? So... Uh, let me know which one of these you think I should get rid of, guys, because I'm not too sure, to be honest, about this one. We've got Valdez, who's 78. We've got Smaller Wrecker, 74. Uh, so we probably want to keep these. Rixus is 73. Hmm. 
So I don't know. Because it could be a case that we got rid of Nelson here and then we, we've got like 10.7 to replace him. So he'd probably find somebody who's better than 78 rated or something. But I don't know. we got Amoa um, 3.1 whose uh, skill is 71. We've got Tyrala um, 70. And that's pretty much it. And then obviously we need to buy someone. And But the, you can actually buy from like anybody in the league pretty much. So I guess I may as well show you. I mean, this is just going to be a thing but um second so we got 2.6 i think that was one over than what um his uh, value was so we've got 6.6 .6, for example but then you have to buy somebody so yeah but obviously we can't get anybody on highest ranked because we're totally priced out of them um so that's kind of how it is. basically the just the way it works in 04 or 05 if you've seen that guys so yeah we've got the the bundesliga we've got italian we've got norwegian so all the leagues that are in the game are actually open for this it's not just limited to the five we've got the rest of europe scottish premier spanish swedish swiss turkish austrian belgium danish dutch premier league french and then back to highest rank. So yeah, guys. Um, another thing is though, if I go back and back out of this, next time if I try to sell Saka, in fact, I might just show you before the end of this uh, episode. I, it has dragged on quite a bit, so I'll, I'll just have to get through this quickly. But if, for example, we try to sell them again, you might find that they it might be buy-in again, but they might offer 2.5 instead. Oh, 2.8. What the hell? <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. So, I don't know. It might be uh, worth trying again or something like that. But um, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see, guys. So, let me know what you think of that. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this game. And I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to watching it. So, yeah, please do comment, rate, subscribe, and share, as always. And I will see you guys next time in part two when we do some transfers and whatnot. See you then.